So this is some notes for you, some revision for you, for you auditory learners of Simon Ar Armitage's The Manhunt. We know this is your favourite poem, we've probably spent a long time on it and uh, this one you'll remember most of all I think. So Armitage wrote the poem um, from the perspective of the wife of Eddie Beddoes, so Laura Beddoes. As you will remember probably he was a peacekeeper in Bosnia and was discharged due to injury and depression and this poem describes the human cost of war. So obviously the key, one of the key themes, but it is a relationships poem as well. Um, one of the key themes is war. So her husband returns to her, but not as the man he was. He's been broken physically and mentally by war. And it's about the wife's slow and steady process of trying to bring her husband back to her trying to find out more about him, trying to heal his physical and his mental wounds. So uh, it's a lovely poem, I suppose, because it deals with so much. It deals with memory, it deals with loss, it deals with war, violence and love and relationship. So it's a really flexible poem um, to link with whichever poem may be named for you in the examination. Uh, structurally, it's written in couplets and obviously you can make a structural point about the fact that they are still a couple and couplets therefore seem appropriate. But you've got to, ref you've got to take into account that, they, that the majority of the couplets don't rhyme. And this, you could argue, and remember to use may, might, could suggest, that their relationship is fractured. Um, the, it's a beautiful poem in terms of imagery, very, very rich in some very memorable imagery, uh, which reflects Beddoes' vulnerability and, and the, her, her slow and steady steps in attempting to heal him. Um, two quotes there that explore his mental and physical fragility. A sweating, unexploded mind buried deep in his mind. And I think the word that the sweating there um, gives that sense of tension and you just don't know when he's going to explode. He did talk about when he was in the documentary, the Forgotten Heroes documentary, about how a, you know, a balloon at a birthday party would cause him to have a, a crisis, a flashback. And that's part of the post-traumatic stress disorder that he, um, he suffered from. So sweating is a really, really good adjective to explore there. And then that beautiful, beautiful imagery, the parachute silk of his punctured lung. Now obviously parachute silk reflects something um, used in wartime, a parachute. But then we've got, we've got the silk um, and, and the delicate imagery of his punctured lung and, and the fragility of this man. So there's some beautiful, I mean, there are many, many examples of um, super, super language in this poem. So um, we've, we've spent less time on this one because we think you know it the best, but obviously you've got some super links um, that you could make. Obviously as a war poem, you can link it to Dolce, loss, violence, and the presentation of war. The soldier would be a contrast to this because Brooks looks at the sort of the positives of serving for your country, the long lasting, you know, you'll be in history, your, your dust should you die, um, should you be reclaimed by the soil will make your country richer, a richer place to be um, and suggest that you'll, you'll be remembered. Mammoth's Wood and a wife in London could go with Manhunt because they're both about the consequences of war. Um, Mammoth's Wood certainly talks with the broken blown, broken blown bird's egg um, of a skull, I hope I've quoted that correctly, and the mosaic um, of fragility. So you can make some good links in terms of imagery about fragility there and uh, vulnerability. Um, and it can also link to cosy apologia through the relationship the presentation of a relationship between a man and a wife. Obviously, you talk about perspective there. Armitage is imagining what Laura Beddoes would do, and obviously Dove is talking directly to her husband, Fred. So I hope that's been a useful summation of the manhunt for you. There's lots of things that I, I, I've missed out, we've missed out, but we're trying to 
give you enough to write about in either the 20 minutes if it's your part A question or to compare it if it's your part B question, which you have 40 minutes on.